It's 10 trivia questions on I Love Lucy. For Patreon subscriber Sarah Zimmerman, this is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show. Sit next to my dog, Griswold, named after Chevy Chase's family in the vacation movies. He's very scruffy. We got him groomed about a month ago, and it's all grown back. So (laughs) this is a newer dog we got in the fall. That was our first time grooming him. I think this summer I'm going to do it like every other month because uh, he already can't see uh, past his eyeballs because he looks like he's... Uh, like a full-blown Wookiee Ewok hybrid. Little bear, Griswold, grizzly bear. We have a great episode for you today. It is all about I Love Lucy. Sarah Zimmerman said, I love uh, I Love Lucy, and I love it too. One of my favorite sitcoms to watch growing up, uh, and I would get the jokes. I liked uh, watching something that was so old, even as a kid, watching it in black and white and understanding why it was funny, uh, and it's one of the all-time greatest sitcoms, so... Some fun trivia questions here written by my brother Scott Buds for today's episode. Before we dive into that, here's the categories challenge. The letter is D as in dog, and the categories are words associated with winter, items in a vending machine, and a girl's name. Letter D, words associated with winter, items in a vending machine, and a girl's name. All right. If you want to listen to me answer those challenges, like you guys are probably yelling out right now in your car on your road trip, Uh, Stay tuned for the end of the episode. Also, fact of the day coming up at the end of the episode. But right now, it's time to dive into I Love Lucy trivia. Will I do the Ricky Ricardo laugh? Ah, ah, ah. We'll see. That was my best attempt. Here we go. I Love Lucy trivia question number one. Where is Ricky's family from? Looking for a city and country. Where is Ricky Ricardo's family from? Number one. Number two, what famous cowboy makes a guest appearance in a two-part episode involving his cemented footprints? Number two, what famous cowboy makes a guest appearance in a two-part episode involving his cemented footprints? Number three, what did Lucy lose during the episode Building a Barbecue? Number three, what did Lucy lose during the episode Building a Barbecue? Number four, what superhero made a cameo on Little Ricky's birthday? Number four, was it Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, or the Hulk? What superhero made a cameo on Little Ricky's birthday? Number five, while their husbands were away working in another state, Lucy and Ethel decided to hitchhike to meet them. What state were they heading to? What state were they heading to? Number six, what mountain range did Lucy, Ricky, Fred, and Ethel climb? Was it the Swiss Alps, the Andes, the Himalayas, or Rocky Mountains? What mountain range did Lucy, Ricky, Fred, and Ethel climb? Swiss Alps, Andes, Himalayas, or Rocky Mountains? Number seven, what was the name of the radio program that was the precursor to I Love Lucy? Was it My Beloved Husband, My Favorite Husband, My Handsome Husband, or My Beautiful Husband? What was the precursor radio program to I Love Lucy, My Beloved, Favorite, Handsome, or Beautiful Husband? Number eight, what company was the first to become a major sponsor for the show, mainly due to how often the actors used it? Number eight, what company was the first to become a major sponsor for the show, mainly due to how often the actors used it? Number nine, which episode was voted most popular in the I Love Lucy 50th anniversary special? Was it Lucy Goes to Scotland, Lucy Gets a Paris Gown, Men Are Messy, or Lucy Does a TV Commercial? Number nine, which episode was voted most popular in the I Love Lucy 50th anniversary special? Lucy goes to Scotland, Lucy gets a Paris gown, men are messy, or Lucy does a TV commercial. (laughs) 
Number 10, what dish does Lucy unknowingly order to eat at a French cafe in Paris? Number 10, what dish does Lucy unknowingly order to eat at a French cafe in Paris? And number 11, Ricky was a singer and band leader at what fictional nightclub in New York City? And what real club was the inspiration for the fictional one? Those are all your questions on I Love Lucy. We'll be back with the I Love Lucy answers after this. We are back with the answers to this I Love Lucy quiz. Let's see how you did. I think I would not have done so hot. Number one, where is Lucy, uh, where is Ricky's family from? City and country, Havana, Cuba. Havana, Cuba. Number two, what famous cowboy makes a guest appearance in a two-part episode involving his cemented footprints? That would be John Wayne. John Wayne. Number three, what did Lucy lose during the episode Building a Barbecue? Her wedding band, her wedding ring. Number four, who makes a cameo at Little Ricky's birthday? It was Superman. Superman. Number five, while their husbands were away working in another state, Lucy and Ethel decided to hitchhike to meet them. What state were they heading to? Florida. Florida. Probably not the safest thing for a couple of (laughs) wives to do nowadays. Like, oh, we'll just hitchhike to go see the boys. Uh, Number six, what were the mountain range? uh, What was the name of the mountain range that Lucy, Ricky, Fred, and Ethel climbed? That was the Swiss Alps. Swiss Alps. Number seven, what was the radio show called? Before I Love Lucy, My Favorite Husband. My Favorite Husband. Number eight, what company was the first to become a major sponsor for the show, mainly due to how often the actors used it? That was Philip Morris. Philip Morris. Number nine, Lucy does a TV commercial is the most popular episode in the I Love Lucy 50th anniversary special. Number 10, what dish does Lucy unknowingly order to eat at a French cafe in Paris? Snails, escargot. And number 11, Ricky was a singer and band leader at the Tropicana and it's based on the real club, the Copa Cabana. Copa Cabana. And there you have it. A bunch of fun I Love Lucy trivia. Hope you had a good time playing along with that one. Sarah Zimmerman. Thanks for supporting the show. Your fact of the day is about the first ever Ferris wheel. It was built in Chicago, Illinois for the 1893 World's Fair. If you didn't know that, now you know. And our category challenge, we had the letter D, words associated with winter I was going to say dry ice, but that is not winter. Is it <laughs> dead ice? I was thinking black ice. Uh, how about, uh, 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 oh man, I got nothing. Number two items in a vending machine, maybe Doritos, Doritos. And number three, a girl's name, Darla. You don't hear that all that often, Darla. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with Bud's Cheers.